Hello, good evening. Welcome to our channel, Yushi Talks. And today we are talking about Matthew Perry's ex-girlfriend who feels that he suffered a relapse and she did not think that he drowned. We have more details. Let's get started. Matthew Perry's ex-girlfriend Katie Edwards doesn't believe that he just drowned. The former friend star who struggled with addiction to alcohol and drugs for a number of years was found dead in his hot tub towards the end of last month at the age of 54. And while it is thought that he had been sober in the months leading up to his death, his form of flame Katie is concerned that he had suffered a relapse just a week beforehand. She told The Sun on Sunday newspaper, There are a lot of things that aren't adding up for me. I don't believe he just drowned in his jacuzzi. That doesn't sound right. I know Matthew and I know that he wouldn't have just drowned. I think he may, might have taken pills in the weeks leading up to this. They said that there were no prescription painkillers at the scene, which doesn't surprise me because he just didn't leave uh, drugs lying around. He was paranoid and would take them all and there wasn't any evidence. And then he would go out uh, more for more when he was ready to. According to police, no drugs were found at the scene or any evidence of foul play, but Katie felt that suspicion. Uh, she felt suspicious when she saw what became his last media, social media post. Just days before the tragedy, the 17 again star had referred to himself as Matchman, an alter ego he had developed based on his obsession with Batman, and Katie alleged that this character would only come out when Matthew was intoxicated. The Matchman thing was not something he did when he was sober. Matchman would come out when he was not sober, and he felt kind of invincible. I was around when he was getting high, although I was not getting high with him. And when I would say some, uh, maybe you should cool it a bit, cool it a little bit with the drugs, he would say, no, I'm mad man. Katie, who dated Matthew in the late 2000s, but remained in touch with him and last spoke to him shortly before he released his memoir, Friends, Lovers at the Big Terrible Thing in November 2022, also claimed that TV star always owned to be in water when he was high. She said one time his neighbor in Hollywood Hills found Matthew naked and high in his swimming pool, had to go over there and get him out of his neighbor's pool. He had a thing with water when he was doing drugs. He always wanted to be in the pool or the jacuzzi. That's all we have in today's video. Thanks for watching us. You have a wonderful day ahead. Bye-bye.